Well, not guess. Oh, there it is, right there. Scion TC. I'm hoping to God. Let's get it, y'all. Let's go, man. Welcome back to Chuck's Daily Hustle. All right, y'all, man. It's bright and early and early bird gets the worm man seriously so um right now you guys are just left auto zone i just picked up the uh brakes and rotors rear brakes and rotors for the honda accord that was something that i did not think that it needed but when he took when chris took apart the uh rear like wheels and everything um not let me not say rear wheels he took the wheels off of the rear end and saw that the brakes and rotors were messed up when he was getting ready to go do that wheel bearing so we're knocking that out right now um i got these pads and rotors for 62 dollars i got the wheel bearing for 35 dollars, so that's 97 dollars in part so far that's really really good on this car so um basically we're knocking that out and then he's going to rotate the tire see if that gets rid of the shaking hopefully that does get rid of the shaking then we'll be in tip-top shape and all we need to do is get that oil change so that'll be uh, ending in the detail for sure. So then I'll be like really, really cheap into this car and that'll make me a lot, a lot of money. So um, I'm really excited about this one. Um, I'm gonna keep you guys updated on exactly how much I'm into this car and all that good stuff. Also, what was I gonna let you guys know? Oh, so um, right now, man, I'm on my way out to Abco. I'm getting ready to get this uh, for the Scion. I'm getting ready to get, I have to get a whole trunk lid for it. If you guys remember that Scion, I'm going to show you guys when I get out to Chris's when I drop everything off. But um, if you guys remember that, the latch assembly was all messed up. So I was going to buy the actual latch assembly from uh, Scion or Toyota, but they wanted $270 just for the assembly. I found the whole lid, the trunk lid for $60. So I'm, I'm buying the whole trunk lid and we're just going to swap out the parts. So um, that's good. Then I found out some other parts. Oh, 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 hold on, man. I almost forgot. So uh, shout out to uh, Old Radio. I believe you were the first person to ever tell me to go do Rock Auto parts um, for some parts. I've done, I've bought a lot of parts off Rock Auto before, but I usually, I'm very impatient and it doesn't ever make sense for like the time versus how much money I'm gonna save. But this time, it's, it, it, it was worth the time, man. So we, <laughs> I have enough cars where I can put the Scion on the back burner and um, I'm gonna get y'all, tell y'all what's up with the, uh, with the Scion. So the Scion needed obviously that trunk lid, um, you know, latch assembly or whatever. Then it needed the uh, like the hydraulic support for the trunk lid. Then it needed what did it need? Uh, two front uh, shocks and then the uh, sway bar links. So I basically ended up the way I'm doing it, y'all. I ended up saving like uh, 200 and something dollars. So I'm very very happy about that. Um, I'm getting ready to uh, most definitely make some more profit more than I expected. So I'm good with that, man. So I'm gonna keep you guys updated with everything that we got going on today. Let's get it, man. So I do not have my trunk lid, man. So I literally, they can't find either one that I bought, which is bad. They called me yesterday um, and told me that they couldn't find the first one. So then I bought another one and I asked the sales rep to go verify and then called me, but he didn't. So I just assumed that they found it, but I guess not, man. So. Um, that means back to the drawing board on this trunk. I'm gonna have to basically drive out pretty far um, to buy one tomorrow because I'm not gonna be able to do it today. I had too much on the books, but um, that's gonna end up costing me another hundred dollars. But I'll still be under budget with that car, so I'm cool. Just need to get some of these things sold, man. So um, let's just move on to the next spot. I'm gonna get ready to show you guys the Scion actually. And I think, I forgot what was up, my other car that's out there. Anyway, I'll show you the two cars I got over at Chris's and then give y'all a Okay, y'all, so here we are, man. We are at Chris's, showing y'all what we got going on here. He's not here, so yeah, look at them pads, man. Most definitely all the way down. Rotors are terrible, as you guys can see. Um, so yeah, man, so we're gonna knock these uh, brakes and rotors out back here on this side, and then this side as well, of course. And then this is the side that the wheel bearing's bad on, so. Um, but yeah, here's. This one, these pads are not that bad on this side, but yeah, man. So he said that's where the noise, there, we had a lot of noise coming from the right side. And then like when he did the test, then he found out that the wheel bearing was bad on this side. So 
Here is the interior of this joint, y'all. That's that wheel bearing over there. That Android system. I'm gonna get this thing detailed, man. Get that liner fixed. And then um, we should be straight, man. So I, I'm having him fix this. I don't know if he already started or not because this thing is pulled out. Um, we're gonna rotate these tires to the back, like I said before. Hopefully, I don't gotta replace these tires. These ones got more tread on it and we'll be good there. So hopefully this car will be knocked out today. Let me cut this light off real quick for him. Yeah, so hopefully this car will be knocked out today. My transmission's getting dropped off too today, y'all, for that uh, Malibu Max. So that's another car that was gonna be on the up and up soon. Here's that uh, Scion TC, you guys. And this is the big issue right now, it's this thing. So they want 200 and something at the dealer for this. So like I said, that's why we finna do that trunk. But once we get this thing done, man, get that front end done, it's gonna be a really, really nice car, man, for sure. Stinking here. I gotta figure out how to get that smell out of here. It smell like dogs still. But uh, yeah, man, I feel good about these cars, man. So right now, you guys, I don't know where exactly I'm going, but I'm going somewhere. I will see you soon. Let's get it. Uh, uh, <laughs> Woo, sheesh. Taking over, taking off. I'm up, 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 I finally made it to the auction and they got a little lineup right here. Let me show y'all what they got. I know that's a Hellcat. Yes, it is. They got some C8 Corvettes over here too. This is a 2018 with 3,000 miles on it, man. Oh, look at that. Look at the seat belts, bro. What in the world? It's like a little cockpit in here, man. What is... I don't even know what this is, y'all. What's I never seen that before. What? <laughs> What's going on? Them tires is bald, man. They've been doing burnouts for sure. That's clean. That's clean. Look at the C eight, man. Wait, let me. I'm over here doing too much. Hold on, man. Let's see if they got the key up in here. They got the red key in the inside, y'all. They got the red key in the inside, y'all. It's a demon. This is my first time ever in a demon, y'all. This is what this is, man. Let me start it up. Oh, man. That sounds beautiful. <laughs> that sounds beautiful, man. Let me hit that guy. Oh, my God. Red key in use. Oh, sexy, man. That's sexy. Let me see what they got over here. Let me start this joint up. So this is a 2020 with 691 miles on it. Oh no. Let me let me just keep moving. 2020, 1500 miles. That's white. Look at this one though. This one looks real nice. I like them rims. Oh, this is sexy, man. 3,000 miles on this one. Look at the interior, man. This is peanut butter interior, two-tone. Hold on, let me see. See if I remember how to open this door, I do. Look at that, man. Do y'all see this? Yeah, this is life. Keys in there too. Let me start this one up. We ain't gonna start them all up though. Oh yeah, this feel good. This feel real good right here. Let me see, I forgot how to start it up, y'all. Uh, all right here. Oh, it's dead. Oh, no, it's not. Why is it not starting? Key right here, y'all. There we go. Whoa! A little sexy, sexy on that joint. Yeah. All right, y'all. I got to get this video started, man. I'm going to do this walk auction walk around video. Keep it moving and grooving. I'll see y'all when I get up out of here. Okay, y'all. So we just made it to the main storage, you guys. And I got a lot going on. I'm trying to get my exhaust guy on the phone. This Malibu's finally 
ready to kind of go but i need to get this exhaust done because now you can see like the fumes from the exhaust coming from the flex pipe underneath the hood so i need to get that fixed and then i want to get this rumble going so i haven't driven it yet but i'm going to um drive it on the highway or whatever and we're gonna see what it does hopefully it doesn't clunk out on me like it did last time it's supposed to be fixed so that is my big hope i'm waiting on twan but like i said i can't get this exhaust shot on the phone right now so i don't know if i can drop off the car so today's been um a little bit tough man then the transmission that i gotta wait till thursday to get that now because their truck with the hoist on the back for them to take the transmission out of the truck was out of commission so the delivery guy needed me to be there to be able to drop the transmission off and obviously i wasn't there so now i gotta wait till thursday <laughs> to get the transmission for the Malibu, the other Malibu. So it's just like, ah, uh, so I don't know. I forgot something else happened this morning. Uh, you guys remember probably from uh, the previous clips or whatever, what happened. So like, basically this is the third thing that's not going as planned. So um, Tuan just pulled up again. Uh, yeah, he's over there in the aura, just pulled up. So uh, we'll keep it moving and grooving, man. I'm gonna try to, like I said, get this dude on the phone. That way I can get this confirmed because I don't want to go there and I can't drop this car off, so. Uh, wish me luck here we are y'all driving this joint it's doing a lot better than what it was before when i first it's been a long time since you guys seen this car but um i forgot to say needed alignment man that's how much i've been like procrastinating with this car but it's running good driving shifting good but that exhaust is super loud so this is like one of them cars that just was not expecting to go this much into my funds to be able to get this thing ready to sell but unfortunately we live and we learn y'all um so yeah man so it's a lot of time and money put in this car so we're gonna get this exhaust done and then i guess go from there but my like my goal right now is y'all is to clean up kind of the, the stuff that i had on the back burner for like a while now i know you guys seen a lot of a lot of the same cars sitting out there like we still got that santa fe sitting out there a whole bunch of other stuff so um that's gonna be the big thing you guys so you guys we are here at uh this is a junk air car jellison's you guys let me make sure i'm paying attention row one two we're going to row five i'm um, looking for the trunk for that scion so um, i saw that they had one on here they didn't have the color or whatever but when i got down here that she said it's actually blue so we might actually end up finding um the scion trunk um that'll just be able to just go all the way on her so um that'll be good if you ask me so this should be row four, if I'm not mistaken, right here, you guys. But I know a lot of you guys like that the junk stuff. So get y'all a little bit of image images going on, I guess. Oh, there it is right there. Scion TC. I'm hoping to God that this thing is intact. It looks to be the right color. It looks to be the right color, man. Come on man let's go ah y'all i don't know it's a little flimsy but what was on here oh tape yeah this thing is all messed up in there too y'all dang it probably still works though let me see the big thing is if it's got a key in there they probably took the battery out let me see. Yeah, there ain't got no key in here. So there's no way for me to even test it. Yeah. I'm gonna have to leave that one alone, man. That would have been I drove all the way out here, y'all. I thought we was gonna be in play, but yeah, man. I think the smart thing is just not to even gamble. It's only 50 bucks too. So I guess I'm gonna have to pay the 150 and probably end up driving like an hour out to get it or having it shipped, so is what it is man um update on that malibu man i did drop that thing off um to the exhaust guy he says it might be a week before he can get to it because he got like 15 cars ahead of me but um it started misfiring a little again man so i don't know man i'm just finna just wrap it up today y'all uh get back to the drawing board so we can get everything together uh, but i do appreciate you guys for rocking with me especially throughout the videos um uh, really keeping me motivated everybody that's been rocking with me doing the consultations doing all that good stuff man um if you've done a consultation if you've um you know dm me i gave you advice or anything like that drop a comment below you guys especially if you've been dming me on ig because a lot of people dm me on ig but i never see y'all in the comments um when you comment and you throw a like button up all it does is help the algorithm out 
and then that helps push the content out. That helps me grow. That helps me be able to keep sustaining, doing this, um, and all that good stuff, man. But I will see you guys on the next one. I'm out. Peace.